What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, guys, today we are going to work on lighting up the base. We got the base built. This thing is like the, the circumference, the area around the base is done, okay? Um, our food area is done. Our forge area is done. Um, I'm not using this as a garage because I don't like pulling in and out. Uh, so I'm just going to store wood in here. That's done. <laughs> uh, the garden's almost done. Uh, I still want to go find a chicken, but that's, you know, finish the chicken coop. This stuff's not growing. It takes forever to... You know what? While we're talking about it, why don't we just water that thing and see if we can get it to grow at all. Um, I just feel like the amount of water that you need to grow those crops is so freaking much. Like, way, 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 way too much. So, I probably won't be doing that often. Oh, look at that. I'm out of water. Okay, well, maybe that's why. That's right. I'm supposed to reorganize this. I'm supposed to build this over here and move these along let's do that now while i'm thinking about it maybe we'll go out and get some more water i don't know um but like i said like watering the crops he's got to take a serious look at watering the crops man because um you know you got to use like a, like i don't know like 10 15 liters of water for one crop that's that's a lot of water man that's only like 10 watering of the crops because this thing holds uh, 100 liters i think um maybe 50 uh no, it holds 100. Okay, so that's 10 watering of the crops. That's not worth it, man. That, that is not worth it. And you can tell I'm serious. I keep saying, man. All right, let's go ahead and move this one over here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to plot. I didn't plan on doing this today, but it's something that needs to be done. So let me do it now while I'm thinking about it. Moonshine still. Oh, boy. All right. How are we doing? Uh, that looks pretty good there. Okay, and then this one will not be being moved. This one will not be being moved. God. This one will not be moved. How about that? How about be moved instead of be being moved? All right, it looks pretty good. So the one on the outside, we can move around because the thing is we have to throw this in the back of our truck and go get water every once in a while. So I should probably make more of these. Get water. Hmm. Eh, maybe. Maybe. How was I getting water? I was getting water with these, right? God, I haven't gotten water in so long. Alright, well, we'll get some water out. The first thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going out and doing a little bit of grinding. And uh, and then at night time, we are going to start setting up the lights. As a matter of fact, it looks like it's starting to get dark. Let me go ahead and save the game, and hopefully my vehicle doesn't flip around here. Um, that would be wonderful, but, you know, we'll see. What do you think, Scott? Oh, Scott, by the way, hold up, buddy. Hold up, buddy. I need you to cut down some trees, please. And leave the stumps. I would like if you choose to have him leave the stumps, I, it stays on that forever. You know, unless you change it again. You know, that would be nice. But we do not have a lot of time here. Um, I might actually not do the water today. We'll see. Okay. Easy. Okay. Well, that worked out well. Um, I, I might not do the water today. It depends. Because I got to get supplies more than anything. I got I to gotta come out here and knock out these cars pretty much every time I play. To try and build up my supplies, you know, because I'm using a lot of them, and you know, to be fair, I'm not doing a lot of grinding. So this, I don't think this game is grindy right now. Um, I think going to the mines used to be grindy. I don't even think it's grindy in the mines anymore. Now, with the new mine and the way he has it set up, I would definitely not call it grindy, and that is wonderful because grindy, <sighs> grindy in a survival game. I, survival games are going to be grindy. You know, that's, there's no doubt about that. Every survival game technically is grindy. It just depends on how you do the grind. Like, I think Seven Days to Die grind is mwah, top of the line. They got the grind right. All right. In Seven Days to Die, you grind by either mining, which I would argue that mining in Seven Days to Die is some of the best mining in any game I've ever played. I can't even explain why. I just think it's fun. I don't, I don't know. Um, especially once you start getting the better tools. Um... Or if you're gonna mine, if you're gonna grind in seven days to die, you're you're clearing out POIs, which obviously is awesome. You know, slaying zombies and and getting loot. I mean, that's awesome. Um, the grind in this game, getting the cars is not too bad. The way they the way they um, I almost said grow back. Uh, the way they respawn um, is not so bad. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's definitely a placeholder thing. I, I think he's got um, bigger plans for that. But for now, and I appreciate it because if these if these cars didn't um respawn we wouldn't be able to play i mean look how many times i've i've beaten these cars you know if they didn't respawn you'd be done with this game in like a week you know um so there's that uh what are the games um the forest i think the forest is another fun one to grind i don't have any problem grinding in the forest i think the um the log sleds in the forest are awesome 
And uh, it really makes grinding, you know, fun. You know, that's just it, man. It's, it's really fun. Uh, what other games? What other games? I'm trying to think of what else I play. Um, with Stand, um, doesn't really have any grinding just yet. It's mostly just going and looting stuff. But it's an early game, though, so we'll see where that goes. Um, and what else am I playing? State of Decay, my new game I'm playing. Um, you know, there's no grinding in State of Decay. You just go out, you fight zombies, and you loot POIs. You know, that's how you get all your resources. There's actually no grinding. Uh, unless you unless you consider clearing out an area and looting a grind, but I, I don't think so, man. That's kind of that's kind of the backbone of <laughs> of any good survival game, right? Uh, oh, okay. So one of the one of the survival games I played that's that's really grindy and not so much in a good way is uh, subsistence. I love subsistence to my very core, um, but cutting trees and subsistence is is it's tough, man. It's slow. It's boring, and, uh, well, I don't know how boring it is. I mean, trying to watch out for animals coming up on you in subsistence. Maybe it's not boring, but it is slow, and you don't get enough payback for what you're chopping down. Um, I have a real problem with that. Um, you know, I would still be playing subsistence today if people watched, but I think the problem is, you know, they don't want to watch me cutting down trees, and there's so much cutting down trees that I kind of have to show some of it. So, I love subsistence. I wish people were watching it. <laughs> I really do. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, what other games? I'm trying to think of some other games. You know what? Let me uh, let me go grab my list of, of, uh, of games that I have, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go through some of them. For those of you who don't know, I do have a... Um, uh, it's not a text document. It's a spreadsheet. A Google Docs spreadsheet uh, with all the survival games that like I really, really like. Um, and there are some missing. If you guys have some survival games that are missing off this, you know, let me know because um, I'm always adding to it. All right, so we'd already talked about Seven Days to Die in Green and in the Forest. Green Hell, all right? Green Hell. I think the grinding in Green Hell is also really fun. I don't really know why. I just, I don't know. I, I think it's fun. I don't, I, I can't even explain why. Like, it's just, I don't know. Green Hell, it's such a good game. Imperion. The grind in Imperion in the beginning of the game is not fun at all. It's awful. Uh, but once you get, you know, better tools, you get a mining ship, um, and then you get auto miners, I would say the, uh, the, the, the grind in that game is pretty, uh, pretty dope. Pretty dope, bro. Alright, I think we'll just hit this last car in GTFO, bro. Don't you know? Um, space engineers? The grind in space engineers, same thing with Imperium. It's, it's kind of rough in the beginning, but once you get, like, auto miners and... I mean, in space Eng space engineers has the best auto mining... Like, you can actually make ships and then program them to go out and mine for you. It's freaking fantastic. God, I wish I wish those views are better. <laughs> I'd love to play Space Engineers again. I'm going to get back to Space Engineers again at some point. One of my problems with Space Engineers, on a little tangent here, one of my problems with Space Engineers is it's a lot of learning. It's a very, very dense, dense game to learn. Um, you have to, it's not only the game, you have to like get mods and learn the mods. I was putting a lot of time into it and I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it. But when I go five hours to like learn something in that game for like, what the hell is going on? Something's going on with the truck. That's not good. First thing we do is save. Uh, let's make sure everything's okay in here. No, everything's all right. All right. Fair enough. Um, yeah, Space Engineer is, it's just, it was very dense. I was taking like five hours to make a video and, and like, if I'm going to take five hours to make a video, it's got to get really good views. <laughs> and it's not that like, I'm just like sitting around doing nothing. It's just, it's a time restraint thing. Although, God, because of the stupid COVID-19 virus, I might be out of work for a while. So, um, but still like, I've got to be very careful how I use my time because I got to use it smart because I don't have like all the time in the world to do everything I want to do. Um, so yeah, Space Engineers grind pretty freaking dope. Um, Stranded Deep. Um, the grind in Stranded Deep. You know, the grind in Stranded Deep, there's nothing good about it, honestly. Um, it's not... Yeah, there's something seriously wrong with this vehicle. I'm just trying to get home, so maybe I could, like, I don't know, restart or something. I wonder if it has to do with something, the thing that's on top, the water thing. I don't know. Anyway, the grinding Stranded Deep. Okay, the, 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 Stranded Deep isn't what I would call a grindy game, especially if you like download the player made islands. It's much, and I would strongly suggest you pl you download some player made islands because um, if you want to make any kind of like big base or anything, you you know you're gonna want to do that. Um, but yeah, I would say Stranded Deep is not really that grindy, but it's also the little grindy you do do in Stranded Deep is not fun. I don't think there's any really good thing about it. Um, it's just chopping trees and you know, that's it. Uh, so. 
Although going out to get the materials is fun, especially with those player made islands. Um, these buffalo nuts makes the best player made islands. If you guys are playing Stranded Deep, go check out these buffalo nuts islands. Um, yeah, they're some of the best. A lot of people make good islands, but he was the one I liked the most. All right, so let's go in here. Uh, Phil. Okay, four. And Phil. All right, what other games? Um, Raft. Oh, the, okay, so Raft had a great... You know, you know. I notice all these games I really like. Um, either the grind doesn't bother me, or it's just plain fun. Wait, what the hell? Is it because that says safe, but there's no water in there? Oh, this thing's empty? All right. I thought I filled that up, but I guess not. There we go. Anyway, um, yeah, all these games that I really like, their uh, their grind is either non-existent or fun. Um, and even sometimes, even if it's not fun, like other things with the game overcome that fact. And man, Raft is <sighs> Raft is awesome. Like you start off like any good survival game should start off with you having to farm the materials. And it should be pretty slow at first, and then it's, and you get better tools, and you get better tools, and you get better tools, then eventually it gets better and better and faster, and then eventually you should have auto hard, you should, any of these games, I feel, the perfect games would have auto mining of some kind. Some of these die kind of has auto mining, because once you get the, 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 um, the books for the mining perk, or whatever, the mining books, and you get the auger, it's kind of like auto mining. <laughs> But I think Seven Days to Die needs NPCs that you can tell to mine for you. I think that would be awesome. And people say, oh, that's OP. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, but then make it so you get less stuff when mining. You can always balance it in other ways. Um, I just think it's more fun to give the player the responsibility to take care of an NPC. Protect them. Feed them. Make sure they get sleep. Make sure, make, Give them happiness things. I don't care. Um, I just think that taking care of an NPC is way more interesting than mining. So you would basically, it's not that you're not doing the work, it's just you're switching the work. Instead of mining, you're now charged with taking the materials that person mines and making a safe, happy environment where that person's fed and has water and, you know, all that. I think that's really good. I don't think Seven Days Die is ever going to go there. I don't think it's made for that. But, um, hey, who knows? Maybe the Fun Pimps next game could be really cool. That's kind of what I'm looking for in State of Decay. Or State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Ark and Conan Exiles. I'm going to do these kind of together because they're kind of almost the same game. Um, the grinding in Ark and... Yeah, the grinding in Ark and Conan Exiles is bad. Uh, at least on the default settings. Um, I would never play either game on the default settings. Ever. I don't think they're fun on the default settings. Uh, but when you, when you really bang up those settings, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, Ark has a little bit of a bonus because... Um, you can get the dinosaurs to kind of help you, which I think is really cool, you know? Like, um, like, you know, you get the dinosaurs to help you gather the berries or the wood or whatever, and that is really cool, and that does help a lot. Um, so actually, I take it back. No, Ark has good auto mining. That's kind of like auto mining. It's like, it's almost like having a mining ship in, in, uh, one of those space survival games I play. So yeah, no, I take that back. Ark does have a good one like that. Now, does Conan have that? Because I know you can get, um, you can get... I hate calling them slaves, <laughs> but they that's what they are. Um, you can get slaves in Conan and get them to like craft for you and stuff. Can you get them to mine for you as well? And if not, I want to see that in Conan. I think that'd be pretty dope. I'm so freaking par- Oh, look at this. Oh, my spoke too soon. Yep, spoke too soon. I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, good job. Good good parking job there, Cage. All right, so I got in that time. Um, I failed a couple more times, but the time I did get in, I closed the doors in. I think it's the angle. These doors are kind of on a weird angle. These walls might be a little bit too close. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I did eventually get in. What I did, I, I just have to come in really slow. That's all. So, not the end of the world. All right, so we're going to need some nails uh, for the... Hey, what's going on? Uh, we're going to need some nails... So I think we'll put old leany, leany head chicky girl over there to work on some nails. Uh, why don't you get to work on some nails, nails there, Rachel? All right, and while she's doing some nails, I will drop off some wood over here. We're going to get some more wood. And uh, it's starting to get dark, which is the perfect time uh, to work on lights. Now, we're I think we're going to need two generators for this compound. Although, 
Maybe we could just make one. I don't know. We can always move the generator, so let's just make the generator. And I think the generator will sh will show a circumference of how far it'll work. I mean, I think if we put one, like, right here, it might work. I don't like it out in the middle of the freaking compound. It looks so dumb. Um, I kind of I kind of wish a generator's, like, area would be bigger or something like that. Or just allow us to hook up wires or something. Um, honestly, I'd rather it just be a lot bigger. Because it... Like, the best way for this to work would be right here. And it might reach the entire compound that way, but maybe not. I don't know. Let's just make one and find out. Generator. Generator. Need a hammer and some gears. All right. Hammer. Take the nails. Uh, let's take this hammer. We already got backup hammers. There's no reason to worry about this one breaking. And we'll take this one as a backup for when the, after that one breaks. And the gears. We have one extra gear. Which means we can't make the second generator today. Unless we want to sacrifice a lot of our metal. Which eh, I might do. I might do that. We'll see. All right. Uh, lights. This might be a little dark for you guys until I get this thing situated. Um, we're still looking at some components there. Uh, those are in here. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, there's a way to um, show the range, T. Okay. So that goes all the way through the house. Um, that probably doesn't need to be so close to the house. You know, we should really put this down during the day. This is First of all, this is going to be a dark video. I don't, let me, I don't like making dark videos. So what we'll do is I will, I will uh, go ahead and you know sleep through the night. And then we'll put it down during the day. And we'll wait until tomorrow night to do... Um, I thought I could get over that, but I can't. Uh, we'll wait until tomorrow night to actually uh, do the lights. I'm all dehydrated and stuff. Forget that. Can't have that. There we go. Let's take some of that. I eventually want to start boiling up some more water, by the way. Uh, drink until enough. All right. Our food and water is pretty good. Um, food more so, but the water is pretty good, too. I went ahead and moved that in there. <clears throat> Should be pretty good to go. All right. So this is the best place for the generator. This sucks. This absolutely sucks. I, I freaking hate the idea of having the generator in the middle of the compound. But I'm not going to build a second generator just to not have it in the middle of the compound. Um, that's just not going to work for me. Uh, although I could make a, I could make one and put it up here. and then Now, nah, we'll leave it in the middle of the compound. I think what we'll do is we'll make a little hut for it. Like a, a small cabin. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, there is a lot of um, area in the middle of the compound that we don't need, right? So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this right now. Or do we need to? Nah, you know what? Eh, we probably should. Alright, let's do it. Um, small cabin. Nah, 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 screw that. We'll do that We'll do that another time. That's going to take up too much time uh, for this video. But that's what I'm going to do. So if you look right here, you press T. That side's good. That side's good. Alright, press T again. That side is good. Alright, and one more time. And inside the house looks pretty good as well. Yeah, that looks good. I'm assuming it can go upstairs as well. All right, cool. Let's start making some lights. Um, now, oh boy. Uh, well, we already have some lights. Uh, where do I want to put the lights? I have no I freaking idea. Um, well, these lights. Well, these lights are definitely going to be outside. And well, let's see which ones we want to make. We could probably go out in the world and find lights, but to be perfectly honest, I'd rather just make them than go look for them. Um, so we can make these lights or the the floodlights. Um, I think these are better for the cost. They cost half the amount of uh, components, um, and a lot. Yeah, yeah, I like these better. But the the floodlights are good as well. Um, but we're gonna need a lot of freaking stuff for that. So. I thought there was a third. Oh yeah, there is a there is a there is some other lights we can make for the inside. Um, where are they? Maybe we should make those first. Yeah, we should make the inside lights first. Let's do that first. All right, inside lights. There we go. See, I don't like the way these take one electrical part because I only have so much electrical parts. You know, I mean, I could always farm up some more with the zombies, I guess. But still. All right. Well, why don't you go ahead and oh, we need the bottles. Oh, look at that. We actually have a reason for those green uh, booze bottles. I wonder how many we should make. I'm going to make like six for the inside for now. And then we'll kind of take it from there. Uh, split one. Split one. You guys go back in there. It's nice to have a, it's nice to have a reason to use those booze bottles. Because, 
you know, other than that, I think the only other thing you could use from it is make like booze or like um, like uh, antiseptic like alcohol for bandages, which is you know important, but I don't need that many. That's for damn sure. Okay, lights. Um, no, they only been for three. So let's grab some more of these. We're gonna have to go and get some more resources, man. Like for real, these um, these resources go quick as hell. Hell, I'm just gonna take all of them. Okay, so it's really nice that I'm not going to make a second generator because now I don't have to use resources to make gears. So that is really, really important that I only use one generator. Um, at least for now. Maybe I can move them on later, but for now. We'll, yeah. Who knows what the future will hold. Six. And Rachel, you make those because Scott's arms are tired from cutting down trees. Rachel, you are the worst. I swear to God, Rachel. Oh, you freaking suck, dude. You're always stuck in that damn thing. Get to work before I put you out the pasture. Punk-ass freaking Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's like, what did I do? It's not my fault I got stuck into developers. Well, that might be true, but... <laughs> All right, how do we want to handle it here? I kind of think I want to... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like where this stuff is. I like using this as drop chest stuff. Like, if I come home and I don't want to, like, put everything inside... I kind of like the idea of this stuff being drop chest stuff, so I don't think I want to move it. Uh, but I'm not sure where I want to put this one. We can put this one. Can we get that in there? Uh, yeah, there we go. Can we get that around the back? Yeah, all right. I like that. Now we just got to kind of line it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that there. And I think we'll put one on the opposite side, too. Probably more light in one place than we need, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm thinking like right about there. No, that ain't gonna work. There we go. That's right up front. Let's move this one up front too. No, this one's too far. Let's move this one back a little bit. There we go. Cool. Uh, we won't even bother turning those on just yet because until it's nighttime, there's not much we can really do about that. Um, okay, so where do I put floodlights? Um, I think a floodlight right here would be pretty good. Now we can always move these lights later, so whatever. If it's not a great spot for it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so we're going to put those floodlights right there. And I guess... Jeez, uh, we need... We got, we got a lot of room over here. I'm going to, like, ignore this wall for now. Because that's going to take too many resources for now. I just want to light up inside and right out here around the outside of the building for the time being. And then we'll, we'll you know, we'll take it from there. I mean, I'm not going to have enough resources, period. Um, there's just too much. So, I'm thinking, like, right there. Maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead and build these. So the video is going to be a little dark here, but when I'm working with lights, I don't have much of a choice. It needs to be dark so I can tell what kind of light levels I need, you know, for the nighttime. So just bear with me here. Let's come out here. I'll turn this on for now so you can at least see a little bit. All right. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to... I already put a little bit of uh, fuel in here. Now I'm not going to add fuel into the generator until I need it because a lot of times I forget to turn the generator off and that would waste a lot of fuel. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that on. And that light is on, and this light is on. There we go. All right. Yeah, so that's a pretty decent amount of light right there. That's not bad. That's lighting up almost the whole porch area. Might just need another light on that corner, another light on that corner. All right, so let's come over here. And this idiot is stuck in here again. Uh, I have to turn that on. I have to turn this on. Now, th these you can kind of aim up and down. So E and C, right? So, yeah, the, fl the floodlights aren't... I don't think the floodlights are that great, honestly. I don't think they're powerful enough. I mean, look at what I get for this. Although that is two of them. And look what I get for one of these. Now, don't forget, these things are, like, four times as expensive. I mean, not four times expensive, but they're they're much more expensive. Um, I'm going to kind of put this up here. There we go. Yeah, I mean, look at... What is that? That's nothing. That's showing almost nothing. That's, that's a waste. I'm actually going to... Um, I guess I'll leave it there for now. This one's not bad, though. Uh, maybe you should put these on the roof. I don't like them on the roof because they don't look good on the roof, but, um, I'm thinking, like, uh, hold on. Hold on. 
I hate this stupid freaking thing. It's all stuck. Really? Really? Alright, let's see if we can get that off there. Um, okay, well, this is annoying. I will mess around with this off camera because you don't need to sit through this. Um, but it's not working. That's not so bad. There. Um, maybe I can move it. Uh, definitely move it down. And then I'm thinking just kind of rotate it. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't think those are worth it, honestly. I think these are the way to go. Yeah, all right. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and light up inside here. All right, and we have... By the way, you can only make... These don't stack, so don't make six of them at a time like I did. It, uh, it was not fun. Whoops. Uh, how do I turn it on? F. There we go. Oh, my God. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, let's put another one down. Right here. All right. I mean, you probably want three of these for this room, but for now, I'm kind of limited. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll probably move these around and put three in a room, but I think two is acceptable. I think three would be better, though. Maybe they'll be better in the corners. Actually, I think one right there. And then... Um, pick that up, and then I'm thinking one right here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a little bit better, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna surround those later. Uh, do I care about up here? I sleep up here. Let's uh, let's put some more, let's put some lights in here and call this a video. Uh, there we go. Yeah, those floodlights need to be jacked up. Their power needs to be like twice of what it is now. There we go. And I've run out of materials. I've run out of lights. But I think we've gotten a decent amount done here. So, it's not perfect, but it's, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's going to be almost impossible to light all this up. It's going to take a lot of resources to light all that up. Um, maybe I can move this. Let's try and... can't really see. Uh, how about right there? And then, like that. So it's a little bit better. It, I think if it, if it, I think if these lights have something to work off of, like a wall or something, I do think they're better. It's when they're kind of like, show, yeah, that's pretty cool. Showing the um, the door. I mean, that's the important part, right? And I gotta try and get this thing out of here. All right, guys. I do think I'm gonna call this one here. If you didn't enjoy the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.